What's up, you guys? It's Arash from Wedvent, and today we are with Asal Kumali with your name. Papillon your Event Group. Papillon Event Group. What do you guys do? We do weddings, uh, engagements, any kind of party, actually. We set up uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, anything that you guys, my clients need. So if it's setting up from like just be showing up on the day of just to make sure all the vendors show up and everything looks nice to planning the events from a year out. So like wedding planning and coordination? Wedding planning and coordination. And photography and floral work? And uh, everything. You, you do it yourself, like with your iPhone? Yeah. All at once. You do it yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do yourself? The I get all the vendors together based on whatever budget that they, they've given me. So um, different vendors of different budgets, coordinate with those vendors, um, go to all the meetings with them, with the with the vendors, like cake tasting or seeing flowers. Um, That's a lot of work, it sounds like, so far. Oh, okay. They basically babysit the entire wedding and create from beginning to end. Do all bride, brides and grooms need babysitters? Um, I think so, yeah. So every bride and groom should get a planner? Every bride and groom should get a planner. Should every bride and groom get a date of coordinator? That, absolutely. What if the hotel is offering one already? Um, okay, so here's my deal with the hotel day ups. <laughs> they weren't in your like story of leading up to that day. They don't know your vendors. They don't know your how you want things. Um, so, and they've got so many weddings going on. They really can't give that special love and care and detail uh, attention to detail. So I'm not a huge fan of like, you know, the hotel Who the is? day of. Um, nobody. I, nobody really, yeah. but I think some people get not swindled, but they kind of like conned okay. into it. Swindled. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, get they think it's enough and it turns yeah. out it's not enough and yeah. then they forget to take photos yeah, with yeah, their mom and dad and yeah. then they're upset and then yeah. they blame the photographer but yep. it's really the planner's fault or the coordinator's yeah. fault and the coordinator yep. is at the hotel yep and when something goes wrong they're running around telling the bride and groom who don't need to hear that stuff on the day of because they don't know any better because again they haven't been involved in any of the process so not a huge fan of just like mass production it's like a mass production of you know weddings for these people that's not anything special how, how long have you been doing this i have been doing this for uh years i don't maybe like 10 years 10 years what's the what's like the worst memory you have from a wedding uh <laughs> you don't have to say their names but you can just give us a description of what went wrong or what happened that made it the worst wedding you've ever planned or coordinated i spent uh an numerous, like a very large amount of time with, with a couple uh, leading up to the wedding went over, I mean, I did above and beyond. So I mean, my, and the contract tells you like how many hours that, you know, I, I can spend outside of the wedding meeting with you. And then, uh, so I, I went above and beyond because I just thought they were nice and, you know, I, I do what I can. And then the day of, it was just like massive running around their vendors, uh, were supposed to show up and set everything up and they didn't they just showed up and dropped everything off so then the setup was on the my vendors team. for what like the, the vendors the tables? rentals rentals okay. yeah so the rental people were supposed to come and put the linen on the tables and put the the chargers and the right. everything didn't do any of it they just dropped it off in the hall and left and that was it so you had to do it we had to do it who else was gonna do it oh man <laughs> did you blacklist those uh vendors the... I, yeah. yeah 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 there's a lot of vendors that have been blacklisted oh really? uh because that you know certain situations and price gouging and and yeah that's but this kinds of these kinds of things where you know we spent all this time talking to them they knew what they were supposed to do they show up they just drop it off and leave and uh i had to call them and, and tell the manager and all i got was i'm sorry and also they didn't drop off like the chairs for the the special chairs for the bride and mm. room so then they came back and dropped those off it was just you know, so I spent a lot of time setting up the inside and, you know, I don't need to go tell the bride and groom. That's one of those things that we don't want to do. Right. right? Yeah. You just fix the problem. It's not their problem. They, they should just enjoy getting their hair and makeup done. The guys are with the guys. So essentially you're a very highly skilled problem solver. I am a very skilled problem solver. <laughs> okay. So, uh, from what you said and from what I know, you serve a very big purpose for a wedding. Yeah. Uh, because of that. I would expect, you know, someone that's solving so many problems and making sure things go uh, accordingly, they charge a lot. 
what is the range for a planner and coordinator as a package? Is it like 10,000 to 20,000? Is it like 5,000 to 30,000? What is the range? So I think the range depends on the budget and how many guests you're gonna have. I personally, if you know, the amount of guests that we've had has been like maximum has been about 270, 280. 280 guests? Yeah. Okay. Right? It's a so big for wedding. that, yeah, it's a big wedding and it's a year and a year of work. So I would probably do maybe six to seven thousand max for that. I don't I wouldn't do any more. Um, is that for just planning or planning and day of? Planning and day of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then getting all your vendors together and uh, making sure your contracts are signed and your payments are due, you right. know, you pay your money. Um, I mean, obviously, if you're, you've got a $200,000 budget and your guests are, my fee is going to be more. Right. So, um, but also if you can't really afford a huge wedding and it's I was going to say, how could, what prevents someone from coming to you and says, hey, my budget's $6,000. What can you do? You're going to charge me 300 bucks? You can't, you can't do all that planning for 300 bucks. Uh, and then I can tell them that. This is what I can do for you. Are you okay you with that? You still do something for like 300 yeah, of bucks? Why not? No, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. Your no, value is. I wouldn't higher. do it for three hundred bucks. Uh, three fifty. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sure you do a lot of Persian weddings. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah. I'd say, uh, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, whatever, Persian couples may ask for discounts more than uh, American couples or couples, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. born and raised here. What can someone do to get a discount from you? For example, a DJ might say like, hey, if you have someone that's already set up the speakers, I can give you a discount because I don't have to bring on the labor goes down. Is there something someone can do that would uh, warrant a discount? Um, so if you already have some of your vendors top picked, mm -hmm. like let's say you call me and, and you say I already got my venue, I already have my DJ, I have this, I have that. Uh, okay, fine. So I'll, you know, maybe bring down the price a little bit. But if you call me and you don't have anything, you have no clue, you, you, we have to find you a she venue. She doesn't even know who she's marrying. She doesn't even know. Do you, does anyone ever know who they're marrying? <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. Uh, then yeah, no, I, I don't need to uh, shortchange, like devalue my work right. just because you want a discount. Also, as far as Persian uh, couples go and, and American couples or anyone not Persian, mm -hmm. um, I don't ever get asked, can you lower your price for someone non-Middle Eastern? Okay. <laughs> but I do get a lot from the Middle Eastern. Right. And then they it's don't- It's a cultural thing, right? It, it is a, a cultural, cultural thing. We, have, we feel like we have to bargain. But do you really want to bargain with the person who's like in charge of your big, wonderful day? <laughs> right. I think, I think if you're good at what you do, you should never discount. You should just keep it as yeah. it is. Yeah. Unless maybe um, maybe they do have everything already set up and yeah. they're just looking for someone to be on the emails just to make sure something goes yeah. wrong. Then, yeah. 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 But that hasn't really happened. That hasn't. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do if it turns out to be a bridezilla or groomzilla? You know, could be either way. Well, how would you approach that? Yeah, bridezilla and saying what? There's different types of bridezillas. Is it bridezilla towards me or bridezilla towards her people? No, oh, bridezilla if, towards you. Um, I don't have any problem with telling someone to take it down a couple of notches. Mm -hmm. The contract uh, that I have, it so no I usually clause? Uh, no, there's no. no bridezilla clause in it. But like, <laughs> there's, I, 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 <laughs> you know, like I, I, I take half the payment up front right. and then half, you know, thirty days right. before the thing. So if, let's say, we're months into it and I've done half the work already and you're starting to give me attitude and and non-stop phone calls and i need this what you know where is this and whatever now you're just micromanaging and and blowing up my phone for no reason so, so how do you what do you uh, say uh we're midway through you want to go get another planner because uh, i don't need this you know um is that is that if someone's uh let's say someone texts you every single day is that a, acceptable it's not i mean i don't need to answer every single day how long should they wait before you answer? <laughs> I'm only going to answer you if, if there's a need to answer you. So you can text me every single day. You're just not going to get an answer from me. <laughs> I am not your, you didn't hire me to be, you know, you hired me to do a job so that you don't have to do this job. So if you're sitting there also parallel jobbing me, then what was my point here? That's like, true. what is my purpose in your wedding? They wanted a partner. Like I don't planning. need, I have a partner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one. <laughs> um, you said they pay the second half 30 days before the wedding. Yeah. What if they're like, you know, coming up with excuses because that has happened to me and they're not paying that the 30 days or they're like, hey, we'll pay it uh, 
closer to the day or we'll pay it, pay it the day of. Are you the muscle? Do you like show up at their home? How, how do you approach that? <laughs> no, yeah, I just don't. I wouldn't do the work. I mean, I'm not going to do 30 days leading up so that's remaining for your wedding to happen. Mm-hmm. A lot happens within those yeah. 30 days. You want me to stop working? That's cool. I will. You'll just stop working. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you had any other uh, bridezilla, groomzilla aside? If Are there any times where the uh, parents, let's say, of the bride or groom are being difficult the day of? So you're coordinating the day of and they're the ones that are getting kind of in your way or saying like hey this doesn't look good when the bride or groom may have already approved it how would you go about that um so let's not i mean you got to keep it respectful to the entire family you don't want to be rude to anyone but um i think that if the parents are going to get involved on the day of they've probably had this like pattern set up already Mm -hmm. you know like throughout the thing throughout the process to get to the day of and um i very calmly you tell them you know i'm hired by your child and they like it this way so at this point we're going to keep it this way i'll take into consideration what you're saying but can i can we role play you can roll so i'm the father (laughs) of the uh bride let's say and i walk into the reception everything's set up because the photographer is already taking photos so he's going to say like these flowers they they're like dying can we get new flowers no no we can't but they're going to look bad for the photos. That's okay. The, f- the photographer and videographer know what they're doing to make it look like better than this. Also, I, I, me standing there, uh, I've basically babysat the florist being, being there and setting that up. Don't you think that if I had seen dead flowers, I would have taken it out? I don't know. I'm looking at dead flowers. Well, you're seeing something I'm not seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I show up on that. I mean, that's one of those things that like on the day of, you're basically watching what's going into the year, six month, whatever it was, it's been planning. So would I let someone be like, oh, here are a bunch of dead flowers on this table. I'm leaving. It's probably not going to happen. I mean, that needs to get taken care of. So for the, any of the parents to come in and then make a... These are real know. scenarios I'm saying. These aren't make, make yeah, These yeah. are people I've actually ran into myself. Yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, it is what it is. I, the, I, uh, you just kind of got to calmly say, you know, like maybe I, I will take care of it. Why don't you go out and have a drink, have a drink yeah. <laughs> or two, three, whatever you need. <laughs> take some pills. <laughs> On the other hand, what if you're uh, kind of clashing with like, let's say the photographer, the photographer is like, Hey, can you go round up the family members for photos? And you're like, uh, I got to go make sure like the cake is being set up correctly. And he's like, well, that's your job to do that. And you're like, no, it's not my job. How do you go about vendors you may be clashing with? Um, okay. So I don't show up by myself. I have at least one or two people the that muscle. come with the muscle okay. that with me. So there's enough of us to go around to make sure that, you know, I don't want to get in an argument with the vendors on the day of, I've, I've worked with these people. Because you'd win. Uh, I'm sorry. Because you'd win. Because I'd win, yes, but then they wouldn't like me later. Okay. <laughs> and I don't really want that kind of vibe on the right. day of, right? I want everyone to get along, all the vendors to be happy. Um, so I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not setting out to be boss lady everybody on the, on the day of. But like, so there's enough on, of people coming with me that if one person needs to go, you know, get people to show up to take pictures, they can do that. Well, I can go tend to the cake. When, there's no need for for uh, all that other, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. There's uh, some planners who uh, have like their own vendors that they recommend to brides and grooms. But on the other hand, they're like, hey, we're gonna, you know, recommend you to our brides and grooms, but we're taking 10% of whatever you charge. Is that is that something that you do? No. Why do you not do it? It's an easy uh, way to make some money. It is an easy way to make, so. You don't have to nickel and dime people and like everything you do has, it doesn't have to be about money. Sometimes just building relationships with people, with vendors is more important than me trying to be like, I'll refer you, but you got to give me this much. I don't like it. No one's asked me for it. When the, uh, You've they never paid a commission me. to anyone? Nope. No. And I won't ask that for anyone that I refer you. I just don't think that's necessary. I'd like to work with these people. I'd like to feel like uh, I can call anyone up and say, hey, you know, I know this is your price, like it's 4,000 for something, let's just say. Like the florist, it's 4,000. Um, but I, you know, this bride and groom would, you know, they don't have a big budget and I really like to, I would like to be able to 
have some sort of relationship with my vendors so that I can ask like, can you lower it by 400 bucks to kind of- 400 bucks? You know. <laughs> it's like a tank of gas. I know, it is. now it is. Right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no, I wouldn't ask for it. Do you have a favorite wedding, a wedding venue that you like to work at? Um, so I don't like hotels. I, Why is that? I just think they're too like cookie cutter. So I I like different area different ones. I don't want to like like I like Harbor View. I think it's very pretty. Harbor View. Yeah. Okay. Harbor View loft. Everything's white and pretty. I think. Um, so between a hotel and golf course, you'd go yeah. with hotel. No, I would go with the golf. I mean, you go with golf course. Yeah. What about like between like you know those mansions? Sometimes people have weddings in and like a golf course. Uh, I think those are better than. I mean, anything really honestly better is better than a hotel. I, I one the hotel is overpriced by a lot. Um, you can probably get... You might it. upset a lot of hotels. I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't care. They're not paying my bills. Okay. Um, yeah, I just think it's more, it's, you know, you don't want every single wedding to look the same and be the same. And I just, I don't know. I like the smaller venues or the, the private venues more than the Cheney. I feel like, you. You know. Yeah. There's like, I don't know, seven or eight planners, coordinators in... So Cal, what sets you apart from the other ones? Like why, if they're interviewing seven people and they're like, these seven are amazing. Yeah. They seem like they're going to do an amazing job. How, why would someone go with you? Why should someone go with you? Um, so I, cause my, you may not answer the text every day. I know will that. not answer you if you text me every day. <laughs> Definitely won't answer your phone calls. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to talk to you. Uh, okay. So Let's just start with what I've heard for pricing. I've heard what what they charge. There's a lot more than seven or eight planners in Cal Southern California. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. that. <laughs> but uh, price wise, uh, yeah, there's nine of them. Price wise, we're we're on the lower, not lower like uh, like it's cheaper, but it's just um, I don't believe in spending having you pay me ten thousand, twelve thousand um, for a planning so i price wise i know we're fair um effort wise i know that like i said even with the with the other one i just told you the example of i put in extra time and extra care i, I want to get to know you i don't want to treat everybody like you know just like they're being mass produced kind of a situation so right. i take my time um i want to get to know you i want to get to know your family um what everyone wants and needs um and uh i just the extra care that we put into the wedding, I think sets us apart on, on top of the price. But they wouldn't know that extra care until after the wedding is done. So what could you do beforehand so that they know that? Um, I explain all this to them. Also, oh, okay. uh, I have some really great reviews that say this on online. So are these paid reviews? They are paid reviews. They are paid. <laughs> but they're reviews. <laughs> okay. Um, if someone is uh, looking to their budget, let's say, is only for a planner or a coordinator, I know they're different prices. Which one would you say is kind of more important? Um, a planner or a coordinator? Yeah, day of coordinator. Um, I day. mean, the day of is really important. Um, and normally when someone hires me for a day of, I don't just show up on that day. I, I do want to know who your vendors are, so I will take the list from you. Um, maybe a month or two in advance, I will have some kind of contact with the vendors. Um, this is only if you're a day of? This is only if I'm on day of, yeah. So you're kind of doing the planner's work too, though. Uh, I'm not planning anything. So they've oh, okay. already got the vendors, but I, gotcha. I want to make sure that like, hey, like this person, so-and-so knows that I'm involved in their wedding. I'll be there on the day of, looking forward to meeting you. So kind of like, and here's my number. If there's any issues, please let me know. Um, I think day of is more important because on the day of, again, you guys, just, the bride and groom, family, everybody just should focus on enjoying that day. Do you prefer to do one over the other? I don't have any preference, no. no. Like one of the main issues during a wedding day is not because of the coordinator, but just in general is things run late. What can we do or what do you do to make sure things aren't running late or if they do, how to get back on schedule? Um, so it's usually the makeup artist's fault. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> usually it is. <laughs> it is. I, I don't actually understand what causes. Actually, it's the photographer's fault. It's the makeup artist's fault because she's not <laughs> done with the bride, and the photographer has to wait an extra hour for her to finish so she can start taking pictures of the bride. Let's so say it's the photographer and the makeup, makeup artist's fault. Makeup artist, we agree on that one hundred percent. 
Um, we have these conversations with the bride and groom in advance because there are some of them that think that they're special and that that wedding is going to run on time. Yep. It, it, you're, yep. Nobody's special. I mean, you're special to your parents and you're special to each other, but on the day of it, things are going to go absolutely uh, not the way you want them to, and they're gonna it's going to run late. Um, I tip, I try not to make it go any later than half an hour. I think that's a fair thing, which also gives people a time to show up for the ceremony because especially if it is a Middle Eastern wedding, no one's showing up to the <laughs> ceremony on time. They're automatically assumed that it's going to run late. So your guests are going to show up late. Yeah. Um, and we have this conversation and it has to get reined in. So if it's the makeup artist's fault and I see this yeah. <laughs> and it's not the photographer being 100%. super excited to take more pictures from this angle and that angle. Don't blame the photographer <laughs> when it's the makeup artist's fault. Seems like you have, a, you have a little foot in the makeup artist game, huh? Do you do that too? I think, no. No, okay. No, I don't like to touch people. <laughs> um, so yeah, half an hour. I mean, you got to at least half an hour, then that's it. I wouldn't wanted to go more than that because it's going to ruin the picture that the photographer videographer, videographer wants to take and i think half an hour is fair but you can make up for it later like your cocktail hour can be sh cut down by like maybe 15 minutes mm. if you really want things to be specifically closer to being on time so there's nothing wrong with things uh, starting a little late like the no. grand entrance right no no you just push things back or you cut a, a little, little bit, bit yeah you know. yeah but if it's it's not gonna like it can be pushed back to a point where it's not going to damage the rest of the timeline that we've made. So in the timeline, there's wiggle room. In general, which vendor do you think is the most difficult? Like, you know how a photographer might say, I have to get these photos and they're kind of like, might be stubborn that way. Or sometimes the DJ is like, I don't like to stop my music while people are dancing. So make the breaks minimal. I don't want to like dinner. We have to stop. I don't want to stop anymore um, until the end of the night. You know, sometimes things like that happen. In general, which vendor do you think causes the most friction during a wedding day? You can say their names too if you know them. <laughs> uh, in general, I, I think they're uh, the caterers actually. The cater? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. It just there's a lot of ego within that. With caterers? <laughs> oh man! And, Please name and they're, them. No. no. What kind of food do they make? <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> a lot of uh, <laughs> different types. Um, I don't think that the DJ, I mean, I, he, they can give a preference. Like I, I'd like to play this long, you know, but again, those are conversations we've had previous to the, the day of nothing. is a surprise on the day of, honestly, like it shouldn't be anyways, you know, the, what the mentality of the DJ is, you know, what the timeline, you created. don't know the mentality of the DJ. My, my worst experience would be with the DJ who, when we're supposed to start at like six 30, he said, give us till six fifty. So the planner and I were like, why we need to bring the grand entrance. He's like, I want to warm up the room so the room knows me and is familiar with me. Yeah, well, that wouldn't work. I think it, I hope that planner said no. The planner That's looked at me pass. and said, what the F? And I was like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to kick him out? She's like, no, I think we need a DJ. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> you're going to need a DJ. But then you got to rein that, that in too. We warm up a room. What are you talking about? I don't about? know what that means Turn on the lights a little bit more. <laughs> I didn't know to bring no. a heater for him or what. Yeah. No, I mean, you basically know the general, like, gist of the people that you're working with. And um, you, I'm in charge. You're in charge? I'm in charge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge. And I've had this conversation with, I mean, you know what your bride and groom want. You've had this conversation with them. They've said, this is very important to me. Don't let anyone come up to the DJ and ask for this such and such song. Don't let, like... I, don't I disagree. I don't think the bride and groom always know what they want. Like, for example, they know they want pretty pictures. Yeah, great. Yeah. But like the bride and groom, this is from a wedding like three years ago, didn't know that once they have their grand entrance, because it was a later sunset, sunset between 7.50 and 8 p.m. is really pretty. So I was like, hey, you guys want to go outside to take like three sunset pictures? And the planner was like, no, you're taking them away from their dancing. Don't do that. And I was like, dude, but look at how beautiful the sunset did you have this conversation with the bride and groom beforehand? Because... I said, yeah, I asked them, do you want to take some pictures Did during the reception? Yes. They're like, sure, if it's cool. pretty outside. I was like, it's beautiful outside. Yeah. It's an amazing sunset. And the planner kind of got in my way. And I was like, no, we're so going to. So maybe the planner's a difficult vendor. Of that. I, I would agree <laughs> with that statement because we haven't worked together since. So she probably yeah. didn't like that I pulled the bride and groom out. Yeah. And the bride and groom loved the pictures. They well, left me a review. Everything was yeah. good. So I was like, there's no issues. Yeah. So I stepped kind of in her way. She got upset. And I think she still holds a grudge to this day. And I heard her blood pressure is high now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a personal problem. Why didn't you have this conversation with the planner? 
pre, and what, pre this, pre this, like, like when they come in, I'm going to take them out and have a... Because we don't know when this, we didn't, first of all, we didn't know if it was going to be pretty sunset because it was cloudy all day before that. Second, the bride and groom might not want to go outside. So I have to ask them and make sure, hey, you guys want to go? You guys want to so, but stop you, dancing? You just said I asked them beforehand. You said I asked no, them in, in the b b b In their emails, I asked them, would you guys be down to take some yeah. pictures during the reception, like during yeah, the yeah. dancing after dinner or whatever? They said, sure. But during the wedding day, because it was cloudy, I was like, we may not take pictures. They're like, cool, just come up to us. I didn't consult with the planner because I don't well, think she's well, boss. Maybe she, but you that's, have. that's my perspective. <laughs> maybe now that's why her blood pressure is high. I think the bride is the boss every day. The bride is the boss of the entire situation uh, until the day of. And, and if it's a great relationship, a great, you know, you've meshed well throughout the entire planning process, mm -hmm. the planner knows what the bride wants. So that's my point. The bride doesn't know 100% what she wants. That's right. Why, but as vendors, we got to we got yeah, right. Them. We got to push them. But she, they do know enough to where now that's what I say. I, I get to know these people. Mm -hmm. I, I get to know you. So I know you know like, them better yeah. than the photographer. I would give yeah, you yeah. that because you yeah. spent all these times yeah. together. Phones. Also, I, I don't see like any issue with like you want to go take three pictures, go take three pictures. You but don't have an issue. I don't have other an issue. planners do. OK, well, then I, I think that they need to. Maybe so they should hire that. other planners. Maybe they should not. Maybe, maybe, maybe should those not. planners should have some Valium and some Xanax or something. <laughs> it seems like Calm pills solve a lot of problems that you allude to. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take a shot of some Xanax. Alcohol maybe I should, I should provide that stuff. I should that, like, it's part of my service. Get your license. Get your license. Yeah. <laughs> I am now the Double drug Double your rate. I'm the drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. Get your DEA card and yeah. then you can uh, DEA license and I, you can prescribe. Yeah. Yep. I just don't Genius, feel like uh, anything gets done if if I act like my hair is on fire, mm. right? Yeah, I I I'm supposed to be the calm one and the whole thing to make everything right. else go calm. So you want to take pictures? Go take some pictures. Now, don't go outside and take them with you and spend another hour there. Sometimes photographers lie and take them away for hours. Well, that I've heard of too. Watch my muscles come out, and I, that means <laughs> me and the whole team. <laughs> All three of you go All after. Three. Gotcha. Um, what do you do if the bride and groom are um, not, let's say, happy with a uh, part of the wedding, meaning the music from the DJ kind of sucks because we've had a DJ play uh, Christmas music during the reception. And the bride was like, I don't want him playing Christmas music. <laughs> and she told the planner and the planner's like, I don't really feel comfortable going to the DJ to tell him stop playing Christmas music because maybe, I don't know that. I don't know why he was playing Christmas music. <laughs> Are you making things up as you go No, <laughs> no. This was at uh, the Poway um, Maderas at that venue. Um, uh, listen, if the Euro planner is afraid of anything, then you clearly hired the one. So they have to be fearless. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not afraid to tell, even you. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> to go take a flight. <laughs> Jump off of a building. I, because I, of what? What did I do? I know. I'll tell you kindly. Go do, go. From what? For not. I mean, if you were being a pain in my. Am I? Not at this moment. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> During <laughs> no, the wedding no, days, do, I get, do no. I get in your way? No. No, you can tell no. me if I get. But there, are, there is Does a, there is a couple of who. No, Mario's <laughs> actually the nicest one on your team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's but uh, there's a say. few other uh, photographers that. Um, Yell at brides and grooms? Uh, yes, they yeah, do. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. But what, what else were you going to say? Uh, that I'll never work with. And they think that, like, if they start dropping the F-bomb to the people that were working with them, for them, whatever, and I just, it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to fly. Is this forgery? Forgery. The F word? F-bomb? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can say it for you if you like, <laughs> no, but you're, I don't want to bleep. I was, I didn't know what you were referring to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the... Those are the vendors that I don't like. I don't want to work with. But what if the bride and groom want them? Are you? But I actually did have that where the bride was um, very like pushy for this one photographer, yeah. and and I was like, I mean, my job is to find you someone who's within your budget, who does great work, right. um, and who is gonna vibe with you and your guests on the day of. Um, I'm going to give you several names. You can add this person to the name and interview all of them and then see which one you get along with. And incidentally, she did not hire them. This person, this mm -hmm. other person. Because of what you said? Because of, I think, yeah. Along you with what them. I said, yeah. I mean, you don't want someone talking, especially in a Middle Eastern wedding, that photographers like yelling at the guests and talking in a tone, like, you know, the words that they use. Um, the hand gestures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you don't, no. 
Uh, how do you market yourself? I am on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I am on Instagram. Do you um, do TikTok? I am starting to do TikTok. Yeah. Do you do reels? I do reels. Yeah. And by I, I mean uh, Your team? Uh, my team does the reels. Mm -hmm. um, Why don't you do the reels? I don't <laughs> don't you don't care. That. You're the face of the company. Uh, you what, are, what are they doing then? They're part of the team. They can do it. People want to see you though. People want to hear. It from is you. me. It oh, is me. When the they're just putting it together. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That they gotta sense. be useful for something. <laughs> I mean, they're useful on the day of, but like throughout between weddings, they like, do something. <laughs> You're on the team for. I'm getting crap looks right now. <laughs> oh, your team is here. Okay, let's not talk about the team in a negative manner. <laughs> wonderful team. Wonderful team. <laughs> Such a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> if, if someone uh, is getting married this year at the end of the year, what's one tip you can tell them, um, whether it's wedding planning related or not, what's one tip you can give them? Don't do it. Don't I'm get married. <laughs> <laughs> get out. <laughs> uh, well, especially this year with everyone catching up for weddings with because of weddings not being available. Uh, Weddings are not available? Or in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I it's would been say difficult to have a wedding. It's been difficult yeah. to have weddings in the last few years. So I would definitely say there, book your venue and your vendors, the big vendors, um, ahead of time. Because planner, photographer, cinematographer? Uh, planner, photographer, cinematographer, <laughs> caterer. Floris, DJ, like that's all the vendors. And no, there's, you a said big vendors. there's a bunch of others. You just named them all. Oh, okay. There's yeah, uh, plan them soon because, the, I mean, right now what what we're, we're seeing is like, I call people and everyone's booked, so plan then it ahead. Goes, like your plan B, your secondary. Then, then you got to go to yeah, the oh, second. Oh man, that sucks. Not the main squad. No. The B squad. The B squad. <laughs> yeah. If you weren't planning and coordinating, is there a different type of vendor you could see yourself being? Photographer, DJ, florist? <laughs> Definitely not DJ. Definitely, Definitely not DJ. Not DJ. Um, wow, so much energy. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> to, I think those guys really get the crap end of the stick they a do. lot of times, you they know? Do. And yeah, definitely not them. They get abused a lot by. They do. Yeah. Um, no, not really. Because I, I can't cook or bake, so. Cake is out. Mm -hmm. um, catering is out. <laughs> uh, and I definitely don't want to run around with, you know, 9,000 pieces of equipment like you. So photography's out. <laughs> no exaggeration. 9,000 <laughs> yeah, yeah, pieces yeah. of equipment. Not, yeah. you know, no. The shot is too dark. The shot is blurry. The shot you moved, you smiled, you're blinking. No, I don't know. I don't want to do any of that. Okay. So that's out. So you don't even use your iPhone then? Um, not well. Not for photography. Not okay. for photography. Um, what else is left? Florist? Florist? Maybe florist. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, like, I don't want to be in a room the putting flowers. things together. Yeah, just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be it, or, you know, I'm, I like putting things together, like a big, like a business kind of a situation. I don't want to be just one specific, you know, like I, I'm a, making food or I'm baking cakes or, you know, putting the software together or whatever right. it's just that isn't fun for me do mm. you rather be like on the business side of the planning yeah. side gotcha the wheeling the dealing the negotiating you know that that stuff i like negotiating such a middle eastern thing let so, me bargain with you i was gonna say let's, <laughs> let's do let's, let's do another a little uh role play thing someone wants you for planning and coordination and they're like Five thousand. You said your high end it would be two hundred sixty guests, so you quoted them seven thousand five hundred, and they're like, "I can do five thousand. Yes, we got a deal. For how many people? Two hundred eighty. No, that's our budget. Five thousand. Well, you have two hundred and eighty people. Come on, Asal John. We're yeah. part of the same community. Yes. No, we're not actually part of the same community. <laughs> I know your family. You know my family. I've yeah. seen you shop at Vons. Five thousand. Five thousand. <laughs> yeah. Please, yeah. let's sign it. Five thousand. Please. Come on, Torah Khoda, let's sign it. Yeah. The answer is gonna probably be no. Why? You have two hundred and eighty people that I need to babysit. I have to on invite the them. Of... You don't have to babysit them. I'll babysit them. On the day of the wedding? Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. No. Five thousand. <laughs> the just, answer is no. Just don't bring your whole team. I would actually have them go talk to a bunch of other coordinators and planners and see what the price is. And the lady down the street says she'll do it for fifty one hundred. I definitely think you should go higher. Fifty one hundred. Do it. 
I'd rather have you. I'd rather have you talk to that lady. <laughs> <laughs> I did talk to her. She's going to do it for, she will do it for 5100. You 100. should do it. You should go talk and sign on the. Top. I'd rather give the business to someone in my community like you. I'm not in your community. You're in my community. <laughs> I'm in the community of people who actually respect other people's. 5100, 5100. That's not going to happen. <laughs> 5200. No. 5300. No. 5500. No. Why? <laughs> team higher 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 <laughs> this is the price rate higher, higher. you can you can even come like later you don't have to come in the morning come at like noon no you come can, at noon that, you that's can pretty much early. what i have to <laughs> you can leave early don't i stay can for leave early don't stay for dinner like right now that's not happening why you take six hours of work for 5500 it's six hours anyone of work. anyone would do that nobody would do that it's like six seven hours of work and a year leading up to that work no, I, I have most of my vendors. Oh, you have most of your vendors? I just need a photographer and DJ. That's the only two That's things That's the only two left. Okay. 5,500 deal? 6,000 deal. <laughs> but, but you only have to help me with two and then show up during the day for six hours. Listen. You, I'll give you cake. <laughs> <laughs> we don't eat cake. <laughs> we don't want your cake. Seriously, I don't like the bargaining with people like this. Like, 5,600. 5,600. Go sign with the lady down the street. <laughs> and she can stay for the cake. <laughs> okay, 5,700. Last offer. How would you respond to someone? 5,700. Deal? No. Deal and we move on. We'll talk about something else. No. 57. 6,000 and we'll talk about something else. 57. No. <laughs> We're meeting halfway between 51 and 6,000. No. More towards you than halfway. Well, first of all, I said 7,000, so we're not... No. <laughs> you started at a five, so I'll meet you at six. <laughs> fifty-seven, fifty-seven. So how about six? Fifty-seven and all of it up front. Uh, 100%. how about six and you can do the split? Fifty-seven fifty cash. You don't have to pay taxes. I don't care if you want to pay me cash or you want to like go down and rob your uncle. Run <laughs> <laughs> and have him write me a check. Six. Fifty-eight. Six. Final offer, or we go down the street. Go down the street. All right, we're leaving. Toodles. All right. <laughs> you lost the client. That's okay. Because <laughs> if I have to put up with this nonsense to begin with, the whole, like, this sets the tone for the rest no of the No one ever does this? No one ever negotiates back and forth? Uh, Come on. Not, that, not as much as... So... Not, yeah, but not as much as this. And again, it's only the Middle Eastern community yeah. that feel like they have to do this. I've never I didn't had... have the accent, yeah. but yeah, I was pretending to be a Middle Eastern so we can't, person. That was the issue right there. You've got to get the accent right. Would you do it if they had an accent? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know who I, I would have to bring in is to deal with that type of like pressure would probably be like someone just like them, but it, maybe there's a faster way of telling them no because I like you saw right now. I'm just gonna sit here and say no, nope, nope, no. Nope. So if yeah. that works, cool. But like I feel like sometimes they need someone that speaks their language to hear the no immediately. Who, who are you referring to? I, someone in? Oh, like I you don't know. Yeah. You, I don't you know. find someone yeah. like that. Gotcha. Not no one like I've been here for too long and no one on my team. No one on your team would do Every, that. They would all sit and say, nope, 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 nope. Because someone on my team, they just say yes on the first, first like offer. So well, gotta, maybe that person shouldn't be your spokesperson. He's not. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. Uh, if, if they were to I randomly find him in bonds and they asked him, you know, he would say yes. Yeah. So that's why like, I don't, I don't like him going grocery shopping. I try to deliver his food to him. <laughs> So that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I've never had someone bargain with me like that. I have had people that don't live near me. They're like in LA and they claim they knew someone of a someone of a someone. And they were trying to really like, and this is what we're comfortable giving you. But I have like 200 and something guests coming and I wanted it. And the, the list of I wants was like never ending. And I was like, well, this is my price. And uh, she tried to go back and forth and then I tried to do reverse psychology a little bit and then be like, wow. okay, well, I'm going to go um, elsewhere then. I appreciate your time. And I said, cool. If you can find someone who can do this much work for you for something less than what I just said, then, you know, I think do. I think you should help them. And by helping them, you say, hey, do you have a guest list of the people you are inviting? And usually they do because they said 280 people, right? And you say, okay, cool. Which one of these are families? So about maybe there might be 15 families there. You'd be like, which one of these families can we not invite? And if that gets rid of four people, and on average that's two hundred dollars a person, yeah. that's eight hundred bucks that can they can add on to your fees. Yeah, I'll tell them that next yeah. time. And if they're negotiating with the photographer, then get rid of two families <laughs> or one really big family if they are inviting Mormons. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll tell them that next Good time. Pro tip. I say I'll say one of the um, 
vendors that I really, really like and love working with oh. suggested that. Is it us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just making sure. Damn it. <laughs> it is you. Uh, more because of Mario. But Mario, because, okay. yeah. I, I, I expected that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll say that next time. See what, how far that gets me. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, so um, I was going to ask you something. Now I can't remember. You were asking me about negotiating? How would I negotiate? Yeah. Easy. Do I you a, bargain with people? I have a pen and pad and a pencil. Yeah. So every time they come back to me, I add a little uh, line. And <laughs> each line represents $100 that it's going up. Yep. So if I started at 6000 now it's 6100 And when they come back, I draw another line. And I'm like, dude, we're going up in price every minute. We should just end it right here. And then they're like, okay, 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 please stop, please stop. That works. And it's like painful, so. Yeah. Yeah. You find the Middle Eastern culture is the one that bargains the most? I mean, I think... I would say yes, but also most people I'm dealing with are Persian. Yeah. So that might be just who I'm seeing the most. So I, I guess, I don't know if I can draw that conclusion. Yeah. Because I have people who say, uh, their Indian brides and grooms try to ask for discounts. Asian couples try to ask for discounts. Sometimes even the American ones have, have said like, Hey, where can we get a discount? I'm like, maybe from your planner, <laughs> not, no. not from me. Not from your planner. <laughs> Or, Never. Yeah. Maybe from the caterer. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe from the caterer. Get rid of one of your buffet dishes, your yeah, entrees. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think, would you recommend to a couple to save money to not get a cake and get like cupcakes or donuts or no. something else? No. With cupcakes and donuts, they're not having a, like, a birthday party for a 10 year old. <laughs> <laughs> that happens quite often. It's like 10% of the time. It's not cute. Yeah, but trying to save money. But save money somewhere else. How, how would you, if they're really trying to save money, like honestly trying I mean, to save money. I mean, honestly, how much is a cake going to cost you? 600 bucks. Okay. So, so for that $600, try to figure, we can all sit down and figure out, listen, if you're having a- We can uh, all sit down, meaning who? You and the bride and girl? Yeah. Okay. And figure out what we can do to cut here and there, uh, things that aren't necessary, like- um, What's usually not okay, necessary? Okay, listen, people who come to weddings- I'm listening. Listen hard and well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do want me to do the Secret. accent. Too. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. <laughs> People who go to weddings, yourself, I, like pretend go or think to a de- time when you were a guest at a wedding. What do you remember? Good times. Well, how much of a good time you had, yeah. right? How much you danced, how, music, and what you ate. No one is going to remember how what color your flowers were, how many flowers you had in your bouquet, how, what true. your color your linen was, if there was any kind of like. D- you know the chair cover stuff no one remembers that stuff if nothing at all i'm um, the favors that you put on the table for people most of the time garbage. all of them go, go to the garbage yeah. yeah so there are tons of ways that you you can save money and you don't waste it uh i'm not saying have crap looking flowers and like you know what about just getting whatever. rid of uplights then get rid of uplights yeah. if if the room doesn't need an uplight it like if everything you know you don't need to have nine thousand different things like if especially if you're on a budget. That nine thousand is a magical number. <laughs> it is a nine thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So cut your stuff. Okay. You don't need to add Good stuff. Good tips. Yeah, yeah. Can you offer any more secrets or they have to hire you? <sighs> they have to hire me. They have to hire you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna do a little game of this versus that. Okay. Cool. So you have to choose one or the other. Okay. If well, you, I gotta tell you, there's no half foods in life. I don't have to do either one. You do because you're here. <laughs> if you don't, we're just gonna advertise um, your rates start at fifteen hundred. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> so you can choose either one. You can't say both, or you can't say uh, neither because okay. that's copping out. Um, would you rather the wedding have bad cake or bad appetizers? Bad cake. Bad cake. Yeah. Why is that? I thought we we're playing a game. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm asking you why. Not everybody sticks around till the end of the wedding, so there's a lot of times where people don't stay to eat the cake. That's that's, that's yeah. true. And most of the time, people have a sweet stable, so you don't really. That's true. Yeah. Um, alternative to cake: cupcakes or donuts? I sorry, I have to actually say I would prefer to have good everything, so not bad cake or bad appetizers. No, I mean if it was happening. The caterer is like, hey, one of these has to go. The cake caterer lost some fingers and from the beginning of the time we booked I, them. To- <laughs> I, yeah, something's happening. Okay. Alternative to cake, cupcakes or donuts? Neither. This is a game. <laughs> you have to pick one. Um, I mean, are we, w- cupcakes or donuts? Yeah. Cupcakes. Cupcakes? Yeah. Okay. Um, worst type of music for a reception? Christmas music or elevator music? This is a real life scenario. Christmas again. music. Christmas music yeah, is worse. Especially if it's not Christmas. Yeah, that's like, if it's yeah. like July. Yeah. yeah.
Uh, would you rather the bride be drunk or groom get drunk? The groom. Groom. Is it worse for the makeup artist to run late or the photographer to arrive late? For the makeup artist to run late. To run late. A uh, YouTube playlist on an iPod, like from a laptop. Hard pass. <laughs> or cousin taking photos with an iPhone. Which would you prefer them do? The cousin taking pictures. With the iPhone. Yeah. iPhone 13. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Instagram or TikTok? Uh, Instagram. Reels or stories? Stories. Better love story, Titanic or Notebook? Neither. The, come on, I, come on. Play along. Titanic, the guy died, so that's not a love story. That's, that's one of the most romantic love stories. No. <laughs> the other one. Notebook. Matrix or John Wick? I don't even know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> Just pay. I don't even know what that is. Okay, Keanu Matrix. Reeves movies. Matrix. Yeah. You've heard of Matrix. Why are yeah, you pretending yeah. like But you... I haven't watched it. You have the DVD right there in front of us. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Mario, stop leaning backwards. <laughs> Who would be more difficult to deal with? The mother of the bride or the mother of the groom? Mother of the groom. Why? Um... <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a real life example you want to do. Personal here. Okay, we have uh, to talk about that. <laughs> Worst flower for centerpieces. Sunflower or poinsettias? Sunflowers. Sadly. Because <laughs> those are sad? my, they're my favorite flowers. <laughs> but I just Sunflowers are your favorite flowers? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You know that. It brightens up any room. But not the wedding Not room. a wedding room. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it sure Unless doesn't. Unless you're in Alabama. Nope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, worst song to play during the reception, Thong Song or Who Let the Dogs Out? Thong Song. Why? Who Let the Dogs Out? Yeah, it's better than the Thong Song. Than... Thong Song has more like melody. Yeah. Uh, you know, what? I know it also has the word thong. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think most guys wouldn't know what a thong is in like the in Middle Eastern elder, culture. Yeah. Elder, yeah, they don't know what a thong is. Yes. And you have to stand there and all you hear is, you know, I get you. Yeah. I mean, thong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> would you rather the DJ not show up or the caterer not show up? I'd rather have them both show up. I know. So would I. But this is a game again. 9,000 times more money. The DJ not show up? No. Because <laughs> you picked the two things I said people are going to remember. The, the food they ate and then like, uh, no, like, no. So DJ? Yeah, I mean, mm. like, I, anyone can hook up an iPod to something, I guess. And so anyone can replace the DJs, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, so I, sorry, DJs. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> and divorce papers are going to be signed. <laughs> because, because my husband your partner is a DJ. Is a DJ. Okay, very well-known DJ. Do you want to give him a shout-out? DJ Molson. DJ Molson. Good. Uh, what's the worst thing you've seen at a wedding? Uh... Am I going to get an a option, A or B? No, just what's the worst thing you've seen in a wedding? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, people showing up with sneakers. Ooh. No. That's actually not that bad, though, if that's the worst thing you've seen at a wedding. No, because, the, I mean... You can say it. It's been... I know you're thinking of something. You can, you can share your thoughts. I mean, sneakers, people showing up with sneakers, people showing that's up with jeans, uh, the bride tire. getting... Hammered? Sh yeah, yeah, hammered. <laughs> <laughs> that's a better, the best word for it. <laughs> It's sloppy. Um, you're obviously, you just mentioned married. If you were to have your own, like a, a new wedding, like a, renewing your vows or whatever next year. Um, are you paying for it? Mario is. <laughs> what, are, what are your top two things that you would kind of go all out in? Like what's the two most important things for your wedding? For I you? would go all out with uh, the food. Food, okay. And I would go all out with um, the music. Music, meaning I you like... Uh, the DJ, the, the band, both no, the singer. Not a band. Bands are not my favorite. Okay. So I would get like the DJ, a really good DJ, um, not you know the ones that have popped up recently that you know give you an entire package for twelve hundred bucks and you know. The group on is for eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not any of those. Um, but yeah, entertainment and food. Entertainment like. Um, like, like the a, would you get like a singer or anybody? No. no DJ percussion um, gotcha like that like that kind of stuff, yeah not like Pitbull a Pitbull, John Legend. Pitbull wants to come to my wedding I will even give him a table which is the other thing tables should be always there one table should be there for the vendors Sydney that would I don't be think brides point. and grooms are cool with that I 
don't know why they wouldn't be. These are the people who are making their, their day. These people are there basically serving them that day, making sure that that day happens exactly how they've planned. And I have bride and grooms who wouldn't want to feed us. Then you sh okay, again. I didn't know that until we were there though. Why didn't you know that? I didn't know they're not gonna, who doesn't feed the vendors? Well, exactly, who doesn't feed your, These your guys so why didn't, didn't the coordinator <laughs> figure that out? I don't know. Why didn't, um, why isn't, and so I would say, I've told uh, most of this too, you guys have to have that written in your contract. Isn't that kind of petty? No. Yeah. No, it's not. Feed you, us or You have us? to, dinner is included as part of our service. And then sometimes I'll be like, sure. And then it's like a slice of pizza and chips. And you're like, ugh. Um, you have to have a conversation. I mean, I think everything, anything you want is, is has to be done in, in a conversation, contract. either with the bride and groom or through the coordinator. But I always get a table for the vendors I work with. They've been there with slaving food? away. Yeah, with table food. for the vendors. And they get the same food that people, the guests get. Why not? We actually, for most part, do get obviously food uh sometimes we get the table most times we don't get utensils so if you can make sure the vendors get utensils <laughs> how do you get a table with no utensils on it we don't get utensils that's weird so if you can just make sure in the future all the guys have all the vendors have utensils that's the one thing we're always missing and we have to go in the back kitchen like find someone they're like hey we need her utensils yeah. and like oh how many of you guys are there because it's always grumpy that person in the back that's odd that's odd um, if someone wants to contact you, is it best to, cause you're very hard to contact. You said not to call you. Is it <laughs> DM through Instagram, uh, Facebook, email, call? I, any, any form. No, not cause Facebook. you're not going to answer all of them. So which one would you answer? Fastest, um, quickest. Fastest, quickest would be email or text. What's your email? My email, um, is Papillon Event Group. Uh, something, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> what the hell so maybe remember. not that, you said text, is there a phone number text, that you yeah, know? 949-413-9919. Or my email, my personal email, azandy25 at yahoo.com. But do not call that number under any circumstance, just text. No, they can call. They can call? I might not pick up. After 4 p.m. But I'll call back. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Within six Within days. that, like within a couple hours. You just said you wouldn't call back uh, people if, back. If you've already hired me and you, you you're like back. trigger happy with the phone, like every two minutes, I'm not going to answer you. Yeah. Okay. So I don't talk to you when you call. We have nothing to talk about. Because <laughs> you don't call. <laughs> I actually call you back pretty quickly. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Do you actually pick up on the first? Not first. Not only pick up on the first, but I call back. Pretty I think good. in this day and age, most people prefer would prefer text. Not, absolutely, text. absolutely. It cuts down like absolutely. right now. Eight's coming up. You know the family that you have to call in Iran or the, all over the. Yeah. Nobody needs to do this anymore yeah. and waste ten minutes going. And how are you? And how's this? How's the weather there? Are you guys doing okay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. How are you guys? And then back to how's the weather there? Is it really cold? Cut it out. Eight to Mubarak. <laughs> Hope you have a great year. Love you tons. See you soon. Wow. <laughs> Done. Sent. I don't think you're going to get don't too tell many calls me, right Don't tell me you didn't think. No, I don't care. <laughs> what, what do you care about? <laughs> I care about a lot of things. I just, this, these things are like, I think generally, I talk to anyone right now. Everyone's so excited about texting, replacing the force, like call your Amit. You're, you know, but you know what's coming yeah. back? Voice text. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah. I have to listen to you. Then I have to <laughs> either leave another voice text yeah. back, which takes the same amount of time. Or I have to, yeah. Please. Voice texts are making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Can you be the spokesperson for that? Tell them not to do that anymore. I would rather still voice text than they pick call. up the phone and call you. Yeah. Mm. Because again, you're going to have all these conversations about how, you know, what's the weather like and. What's, what's a really good uh, wedding food? Like Persian food, cabo? Is that what you... No. What's the best Persian food you've had at a wedding? Um, I like... Uh, I don't know. Anything... First, I'm not a big fan of green food. Mm. In general, throughout or life. Sabzi, or Ms. Sabzi's. No. Uh, we have to end this podcast cabs. abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Persian are you? I'm not, like, I don't like... Uh, I just think things like get into everyone's teeth, like, uh, shh, what is that thing? Uh, not dubia pura. Dolme? No. It's, it's a rice. Uh, my mom's gonna shoot. Chupa di adada. Bogali pura. Oh, okay. That stuff is in everyone's teeth. Like, it's unnecessary, for, in my opinion. But I like, like, khoresha gaime 
I like uh, Horsha, Fes and June. So you don't like the top like three foods, but you like the bottom nine, ten, eleven. Top three foods are those foods that I just mentioned. Right that now. is not true. That is that fact. is not true. You're gonna lose a lot of business over that one. Fact. Well, I'm not telling them what to put in their in their thing. They can do whatever. But. I don't think anybody's gonna have uh, gourmetizing and bodily pillow for the wedding food. Well, yeah, of course they, they do. Are. Yeah, no. dude, we've been at weddings together where that's been on the thing. I probably don't eat it then. It's it's gross for you. you it's stink. not gross. It's just it's weird. <laughs> Warma sabzi during a wedding, I think it's weird. Warma sabzi during a wedding is weird. Yeah. Bagoli polo with the things of meat stuck in between. It just is weird too. Oh, no, game is okay. For a wedding, game is good. It looks weird. I mean, I technically like. I mean, I like anything rice. I like the the one that looks awkward, weird. The Shivit polo, not not shivit polo. The shirin polo, you know what mm, that? Yeah, yeah, that's weird. It is weird, yeah. but it, it fits. <laughs> um, any based on the recent weddings you plan, just because this is another question people have, I forgot to ask you. What's like the average people are spending on the entire wedding? Let's say you're doing the whole, you're booking the vendors, everything. What's like the average right now? Forty thousand, sixty thousand? Between forty and sixty, yeah. Between Especially 40. if you're doing it in a hotel. But you're saying it'd be cheaper at a golf course? Yeah. So to save money, go to a golf else. course. I mean, don't uh, not just necessarily a golf course, but any kind of other Park. like find other creative venues. Can you give us a hint? What do you mean? A creative venue. What do you mean by creative venue? Uh, like not not a hotel. Like not creative, but like not a hotel. So there's golf outside course? besides a golf course. There's uh, other like like wineries. Oh, there's okay. yeah. There's different. But definitely not the beach. Um, maybe you can do it at the beach. All that sand and then like. The, the it's not a real video. Persian thing though, is it? No. 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 Your grandparents aren't going to be, or your mom and dad don't want to like take off up. their shoes yeah. and, you know, walk in the sand. Yeah. Not really a Persian thing. No. You can do it at a winery. You can do it at mansions. You can do it when you have a destination wedding. At is, a hotel. At, no, at a resort. A resort. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smaller hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just not like, just, yeah. You probably save a lot more if you do it at one of these places then because you have to pay the hotel fees and yeah. yeah one last message you give uh brides and grooms who are looking to plan a wedding what would you tell them um enjoy it and don't get so caught up with that. find the right person who's going to be you're on your team with whoever your event planner or coordinator is and then enjoy the process because you hopefully get one of these right this one is your one of one wedding uh -huh. um and you want to have memories you actually want to remember it because most of the time if you're not enjoying the process you're not going to either remember it or you're just gonna be like god it was just such a stressful time and that's definitely not what you want to have these people leave with you know so the lead up to the wedding should be pleasant it should be fun we're we're finding a vendor we're finding you know this is my photographer i looked at their you know album or whatever album will work and then this is my you know so enjoy the process and then uh let go off the reins yeah you should be able to if you trust the person you've hired right. and let that person take over enjoy it can we summarize that that was pretty long enjoy it <laughs> enjoy it okay <laughs> enjoy the process right. enjoy the process and to enjoy the process hire the right team hire the right team. get the right team behind you like us too. Like us too. And Mario. <laughs> and Mario. And your team members. And the muscles, yeah. And the muscles. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. And hope to see you at a wedding soon. Hopefully. And hope to uh, get some more referrals from you soon <laughs> after this podcast. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.